What is the silliest reason you've seen someone get offended? A girl in 9th grade asked me how I was so skinny, and I shrugged, and said I didn't know, I just ate when I was hungry, and stopped when I was full, and that apparently translated to me calling her a fat bitch somehow. Told her that her kids would be seated at the kids table, and she freaked out that they were family members of the groom, and shouldn't be shunned. So we immediately said we'd change the seating plan, so they could sit with her, to which she got even more offended, because she didn't want to spend the reception with a bunch of children, and demanded she be with adults only. One time someone got offended, when I put on my seatbelt, thought I was commenting on her ability to drive. My girlfriend wouldn't speak to me for 12 hours, because I said her cat impression wasn't convincing. My girlfriend's mom gets offended if you try to disagree with her in front of other people. She will pull you aside later and try to get you to apologize for embarrassing her so badly. I used to work in an outback steak house in suburb of Atlanta. A couple came in and was seated in a booth. Before their server could even take their drink order, I noticed the man grilly walking to the door. I asked if something was wrong and they replied we refuse to eat in a restaurant with a rebel flag on the wall. It was an Australian flag. Edit. Yes, I did tell them it was actually an Australian flag as they were walking out the door, but they ignored me. At that point they were already committed. I said a lot of Italian operas were about sex and murder, so he called me racist. 1. It's true, and wasn't even a negative comment. 2. I'm Italian. I saw a girl go on a facet book rant one time condemning a cookie delivery company because they gave her an extra cookie and wrote a note saying figured you would appreciate an extra cookie. She went on talking about how she had body issues and this guy slash company should send her a written apology because of how they were calling her fat or something. The best part is the company responded and offered her a free box of 6 of her favorite cookies. She accepted. In a certain community I'm a part of, there was an Italian guy who was particularly good at what he did, so he got sponsored by a primarily American team. Well one day, a girl online called him a giraffe and he freaked out, as if the girl dropped the most racist, ignorant offensive comment ever. He ended up threatening to kill her. He also hoped that the girl would get raped to death if she didn't take it back. Well, she leaked the messages to the community that he's a part of, to which he responded back to her with, if I lose my sponsorship because of her, I swear to god I'm going to fly to America and kill this bitch. He ended up losing his sponsorship and giraffe memes became the highlight of the community for a few days until the moderators had to make them a bannable offense. Good times. My last date got offended at me for making too much eye contact. Could you please not look at me when I'm checking my texts? It only exacerbated the issue when I answered. Could you please not be so rude as to check them at dinner? I was on a ferry with my very cute lap dog. A woman approached me and asked to pet my dog. I told her no, that the dog would bite her if she tried. She reached out to pet the dog anyway and the dog snapped at her. Didn't actually bite, but made it clear not to come any closer. She got mad because all dogs love me. This actually happened twice with two separate women in the same ferry ride. My sister was freaking out about Ebola. I told her that the CDC is packed with highly trained people who have determined we don't have to worry. She said she'd read some articles online and that they were wrong. I told her it took more than reading a few articles to become an epidemiologist. She flipped the fuck out and told me my opinion didn't count because I haven't graduated college yet. I had a Jewish guy get upset with me because I said some positive things about Polish culture. He informed me that the Poles collaborated with the Nazis in Wii, so I should reject my Polish heritage. For those who don't know, Wii started when Germany invaded Poland, killing or capturing hundreds of thousands of Poles. There's a detailed Wikipedia page here that covers the many ways in which the Poles fought against the Nazis, even forming their own underground government while under German rule, and how tens of thousands of Poles risked their own lives to save Jews during the German occupation. But none of that is even relevant, because my Polish ancestors emigrated to the US in fucking 1898, and several of them fought for the US in both WWI and WI. He didn't care about any of that. I'm a bad person for loving pierogies and kielbasa. I've never met another Jewish person who was so ignorant of that part of history. I once told my friend he should be humble about getting a DUI, 
he was blackout drunk and got a DUI for it. He fought it in court and said his lawyer was awful and he shouldn't have to get a DUI. I went up to him and I said, but dude, you were drinking and driving. And he got offended and said so fucking what? You think that's going to stop me from drinking? These fucking counseling classes I have to take are a fucking waste of time. Starbucks cups colors. What in the fuck? Hey guys, this is Josh Feuerstein here. Starbucks is waging war on Christians. I was shopping with my kids and wife for school supplies at Staples when an older grandmother aged woman walks up to me and sticks an advertisement in my face and aggressively asks where are these? Pointing to some three ring binders. I step back and say I'm sorry but I don't work here. She mutters back how rude and several other things under her breath. At which point I respond with what exactly do you expect me to do? Do you expect me drop? At which point my wife interrupts my tirade with honey, you can't fix stupid. At which point my wife and I both started laughing. The old lady left in a huff and returned a few minutes later with the manager at the end of the aisle we were in and pointing at us. Something tells me we are probably on a warning list staples at this point. My public speaking professor told our class this story at the beginning of the semester as a sample speech. He told us, because the teacher in the story recently won her second teacher of the year award from the state. A college professor of American literature was teaching her class about backstory and exposition using the chapter in The Great Gatsby, where Gatsby describes the story of how he became Jay Gatsby and wealthy. Just the one chapter and the students didn't even have to read the whole book. The following Monday, she shows up to her office in the morning and finds several students outside of her office with a petition signed by them and written in text message lingo, you for you, etc. For her to resign from her job for making them read the chapter from The Great Gatsby that filled them with envy for the wealth of this fictional character and caused them mental stress. The woman took the petition and told them she would consider it. At the start of class, the teacher returned the paper to the students, who wrote it with all of the grammar and punctuation corrected in red pen. Friend posts on FB saying it's ironic that she's discussing sex education across the room from someone reading a bible. I comment saying not all religious people are against sex ed. Friend says she has been publicly humiliated and devotes several therapy sessions to this incident. We are no longer friends. I was in line at a donut shop where the woman ahead of me got sorely offended with the guy in front of her because he took the last cinnamon donut in the display case, the very one she had her eyes fixed on for breakfast. She actually asked if he'd let her have it in exchange for two others she would buy of a different variety. When he said no, she just stormed out of the shop, glaring at him. I work as customer service in a retail store. We had a single long line on the right side of the desk, has three registers in it for returns. A woman who just came in went to the left side and straight to one of the registers. When told that she needs to get into line, she becomes furious and started screaming, asking why she has to fall in line. Yes, I'm one of those people. She shouted when she saw a cowalker roll her eyes. It was causing a scene, so a manager took over and we all looked apologetically at the other people in line. There was a tradition at my university where the senior student mentors in one faculty would grow beards all summer, then most would shave after frosh orientation. That was banned because it might be offensive to some religions. I was putting some groceries away in the parking lot when I noticed a woman struggling to get her car started. I made some small talk with her to ease her frustration and showed her how to jump start her car with the jumper cables she had. She was so happy that I showed her and, in her mind, I had solved the problem. This lady really didn't have a clue that she needed to replace her battery, even though I kept telling her she needed a new one too. While I was at it, I check her her oil, coolant, transmission fluid, and a few other things and they were also bad. Dark oil and extremely low, transmission fluid looked horrible, coolant was low, you name it, she didn't have enough of it, or she needed it changed. I was straight up with her, and said if she didn't start taking care of her car, she was going to have some serious problems in the near future. She flipped the fuck out. She claimed she took care of it, drove it easy, had no accidents, lol, and that it was running fine. 
I explained to her about simple maintenance and why it was important, but she was having absolutely none of it. Of course, I was fighting an impossible war with this clueless woman so after a few fuck yous don't tell me how to spend my money and trying to reason with her, I went on my way. Best part is, and I shit you not, I went to get an oil change from my mechanic about a month later, and guess who I see picking up her car after some work. This stupid lady. I smiled at her and she apologized, but I couldn't help but tell her that I told her so. She told me the bill was a little over $2,000 for the work and that she learned an expensive lesson. When I worked at Walt Disney World, we had buttons that we would give out to guests who were celebrating a special day or event in the parks. Things like first visits, anniversaries, birthdays, honeymoons, and so on. The purpose of the buttons was to give the employees, cast members in Disney speak, an opening to engage the guests. If you saw a couple with anniversary buttons, for example, you could wish them a happy anniversary. Well, one of our greeters saw a little boy and his father walking towards an attraction, and noticed the boy was wearing a button that said happy birthday, and had his name written underneath it. So she smiled, and said, happy birthday, Bobby. The father proceeded to get up in her face, screaming how dare you talk to my child. You have no reason to talk to him. If you have anything to say to him, you go through me. Reduced her to tears. I really felt sorry for that kid. I could fill this whole thread with my mother, but here are two examples from recent memory. She cooks potatoes for dinner. I put salt on them. She screams for 2 hours about how rude I'm to insinuate her cooking isn't good enough. I'm using the single cup coffee maker at my cousin's house. My cousin makes an offhand remark about how she needs to replace the filter because it's overdue. I laugh and say that we have to do the same and we forget about the filter often. Cue mother screaming about how I embarrassed her in front of her family. A good friend of mine whom we'll call Mary expresses an inappropriate amount of anger towards anyone who uses the phrase rule of thumb. Most people don't know what it means, and it's little more than a colloquialism. Mary makes sure to angrily chastise people for using the term. Don't you know what rule of thumb means? It used to mean a man could beat a woman with a stick no bigger than his thumb. You shouldn't go around saying things like that. It's so rude I've seen her do this several times, and it just embarrasses or flusters people. They don't mean it that way, but a melodramatic history lesson helps no one.